What's up guys, Lion Life here and welcome back to another Brown Dust 2 video. I'm sorry for the no cam, I'm sorry for just the PNG. Um, currently right now under the weather, so not feeling the best. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get this information out for the developer letter and kind of go over with, with you guys. Um, but right now it looks like it's titled here, the 100th day of launch of Brown Dust 2. Um, this is our 10th developer letter. You know, y'all know we've gotten so many of them, but we are on number 10 now. Um, and it says, hello, I'm the producer of Brown Dust 2. I started writing developer notes to communicate closely with our players and I can't believe that I'm writing the 10th de developer note already. Neither can we, because <laughs> this doesn't usually happen as often, but there was like a week or two that we were getting those like back to back. So I mean, hey, um, pro probably wouldn't have expected to have the 10th one by now, but at the, at the end of the day, you know, we're getting some um, effective communication nonetheless. So that's good to see. <laughs> Um, Brown Dust 2, which was released with the hope that it would be a gift to everyone, is approaching its 100th day of service. Looking at number 100, which is quite a symbolic number, I was wondering on how to express my gratitude to our players. First, we're, first we are preparing a variety of events to celebrate the 100th day, love to see that. Um, September 29th, the Brown Dust 2 service, we're working hard um, to deliver our gratitude to our users. Also, I'd like to thank you for actively participating in the service satisfaction survey. We're carefully reading all of your valuable comments from our players on the survey results. Once the survey results come out, we'll compile and share them with you as well. Good, good, good. Love to see that. Um, before we get into the main context, I have something to tell you first. Um, we're going to be looking at the September 1st, the, the September maintenance schedule. Um, the routine maintenance schedule will be changed in September due to the holidays in Korea. Gotcha. Um, due to the changes in the maintenance schedule, the regularly scheduled event will also be changed slightly. Please refer to the list below. Okay, so this is the, the, the days um, that we're going to be having the maintenance here. September 8th. I'm sorry, six we've already had, obviously, the 13th coming up here soon, um, and then the 20th and the 25th are going to be our maintenance days. Now, I guess this is the one that got changed the, the first week here for the 25th since it's a different color. So, okay, cool. So, so a different day for maintenance. <laughs> So looking here on, on our update that we're getting on the, on the 13th, we're getting the new NPC quest, Saviors of Shelter. Um, it's a new character pack, two new quests, Saviors of Shelter will be updated. Saviors of Shelter is a short story that continues with the uh, story of character pack 2's main quest, Fire Chip. Leatrice reveals her twisted madness to her heart's content in a destroyed world. Angelica, okay, so we're gonna see Angelica again, that's good. Um, Angelica abandons her belief in God and Goddess and pursues a new mission and desire. Two attractive new characters appear and lead the story along with Wiggle, who is the only one to escape the crisis that befell the shelter. Be prepared to enjoy the cute performance of Wiggle, who replaced Lathal as the main character in the new costumes of Leatrice and Angelica, which are based on post-apocalyptic concept. Ooh, okay. Um, a new pickup slash powder of hope shop product preview. Um, so we're gonna get Leatrice. Okay, so Leatrice's new costume is called Neon Striker, and for Angelica's, it's called Neon Savior, um, which appear in the NPC quests. And Lathal's homunculus costume appears in the pickup. Yo, that's so good. I'm really happy that we're gonna get um, Lathal. Mostly, I mean, I'm sure Angelica and Leatrice are gonna be looking good as well too. But like, I really was hoping that we were gonna get. Um, homunculus lathal costume this is like really 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 cool to see um i don't know if i i really want to see what it looks like when you plus five it what that buff is looking like you know so we'll see but i'm curious to see what that looks like um the costumes have been appeared in the costumes have been appeared in the pickup banner will be sold as products in the powder of hope shop after the pickup periods okay cool same as normal um please refer to the table below for the pickup schedule um and the powder of hope shop product sale schedule okay so this is the schedule for the banners so we're gonna get leatrice from the 13th to the 25th oh my god lathal from the 13th also the same time oh no like so we're really gonna have to pick between the two <laughs> See, this right here is a situation where it's like having the two banners, bro. That to me is like, you're just you need to go for one copy or pick one that you like the most. You know what I mean? Um, 
that's oof that really sucks <laughs> i hate to see that but i get it you know the, the, they gotta cramp everything in for the rest of the month because as you know at the last banner here for angelica we're approaching october which means halloween which means we're probably going to be looking at like a halloween event halloween costumes which i'm really excited for because i'm working on getting um a new halloween costume you know for the oc i mean you guys see him on the right hand side over here <laughs> but i'm working on another um halloween lion you know xbd2 costume so we'll see I, I but i wanted to wait to see what the theme looks like before i finally finalize anything but i will say we're getting a new i am getting a new piece done um for this right here and this is going to be hot i'm excited for it anyway besides the point um so that's the schedule for the banners this is going to be the schedule for the weapons same time obviously um powder of hope chop when all the characters are going to drop in there so we're going to start seeing the uh rubia costume here on the 25th to the from to the 11th and then within that time frame also we're going to have liatris and lathal um powder of hope as well too so honestly if maybe i guess the what if you're just wanting like if there's one that you know you really really want and maybe you just want to have a copy of another for collection purposes this might be the way to do it and just run all your pulls on one of the two banners between liatris and um and uh lathal and then you know maybe just buy the other one in the shop and then we'll probably get the same thing for angelica once her banner drops if you don't have the gems between running them all for this time frame for last on the actress then yeah just pick her up in the shop you know let's get to see i wonder if this is like a new new costume or if this costume for angelica is um one from brave nine i haven't checked i've seen a lot of different costumes and i was debating on making a video about that as well too about some costumes i would like to see some male characters i would like to see come from brave nine since obviously we're just you know they can put whoever they want in there um but yeah um, looks like we're next we're getting a gear pass. It says new content to improve repeated use of stealing introduced in the ninth developer note is named as gear pass. By completing the gear pass, you can acquire materials that could be obtained through stealing. <laughs> Assuming that legendary grade steel talent is used on all story packs 1 through 8 NPCs, the total expected amount of gear materials and gold that Bernie and, and Andrew can obtain and the total expected amount of cookie ingredients and gold that Reginette can acquire will be accumulated will be calculated and given as rewards in the following form. So, we're no longer okay. So they're getting rid they're getting rid of steel for the items. So this is the gear pass so i'm so confused then so then what are we going to use stealing for oh okay with the addition of the gear pass all steel talent skills rewards are changed to gold the daily missions and achievement rewards included in the gear pass are as, are as follows okay so this is what we need to do for <clears throat> sorry <laughs> um for the so for the gear pass, these are all the missions you have, how many times you have to do it, and these are the, okay, I mean, draw one time, here's 20, 2800 leather, uh, battle on the hunting ground one time, here's 3400, I mean, that's not bad, this, this does, I guess, help it, um, make it easier and less time consuming, um, I can see that. Um, I mean, I guess I understand, I can respect the fact that they improved upon stealing to begin with. Instead of stealing all from all NPCs, they improved it, so we just had to steal from, what, several, um, between all the story packs, and that was a nice change, but I guess, you know, maybe it does after a while get a little old. I'll admit, sometimes it is a little tedious to try to go through all the story packs, but I mean, it was a, it was still a really good change, it still cut the time in half, so, you know, but I guess they're just trying to improve on more ways to do it which i can respect um but I, what i think for this is what is that amount of gold gonna be looking like for when we steal you know i think that's my only question there is what's that a gold intake gonna look like is it like maybe that's a free 50k is it gonna be like a hundred k gold you know something something that's got to be up there to make me want to do it still um because like your golden take is like if you do your gold dungeons if you're doing your your daily quest the three times a day the highest amount for the gold that you can get stuff like that like those accumulate those add up the cats from olstein if you have it at legendary you know you're gonna get three of those and like you can get upwards to like 20k gems on those cats so uh, i'm trying to look like 25k on those cats so i'm like you get quite a bit of different avenues um 
for gold as it is. So I wonder how much they're going to make the gold acquired for that. We'll see. Um, next, we're going to get a reorganization for the Golden Thread Shop. It says the recruitment contracts will be deleted from the Golden Thread Shop and five star costumes and UR and SR gear random draw, ooh, random draw tickets will be added as new products. A five star costume added to the Golden Thread Shop are updated with new costumes at regular intervals, like the Powder of Hope Shop. With this change, we want to provide users with more ways to obtain five star costumes. Yo, that's really good. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, what obviously I don't think people were buying the contracts. I don't. I know I wasn't using. I was not about to use my my golden thread for that. Y'all seen it before? I fucked around and used my <laughs> my golden thread for draw tickets before. Not the best situation either, but I've done it. But out of everything on this list, yeah, no, the, the last thing I'm buying is the contracts. Can we get those every week anyway? And like, you're gonna be able to stack them up and get all the characters that you need. Um, but yeah, the addition of a five-star costume, love that. Now we have another way to get another five-star costume. And you know, if there's someone you're like holding out for, you know, maybe you just, you know, save up and wait on it. And 1500, I'm sorry, 1600, I don't think is that bad. Um, it definitely would take quite a bit of pulls to get to that, but it's, it's definitely possible. But even this, like UR gear, uh, I mean the SR gear, this probably won't be used. I don't know why they put this in this SR exclusive gear. That's probably not going to get used, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, the UR gear one, that's only 500. That's easy, bro. 500 is, e well, I, mean, I say easy, but if you're pulling, you know what I mean? Like 500 is almost nothing almost nothing so that's really really good I, I i'm glad th this is a really good change i like this a lot this um taking out the contracts and then adding the costume and the ur gear for sure um next year we're gonna have the lathal pass lathal pass will be added after the sylvia pass and if you accomplish the lathal pass missions you'll be able to obtain lathal's basic costume herb tracker lathal at the same time the herb tracker costume product will be added to the powder of hope shop we plan to continue on releasing character passes in the future to provide you with an opportunity to require the characters that you want bro let me tell you they give us so much and like it's so, oh man dude we get so much free stuff it's crazy like we they don't need to be giving us the free characters like this they really don't but they do <laughs> You know, it's such a good thing, man. Like, keep it up, dude. Like, I like the Brown Dust Two devs really know what they're doing. They really, really, really do. Um, and for the September twentieth update, we're gonna finally get the Fiend Hunter that we were looking at before. I think what what, what they called it before. I think, I, think, I guess one was called something else. I don't think it was called Fiend Hunter, <laughs> but whatever this this was supposed to be, Monster Tracker. I think that's what it was called, right? Um, we're revealing the first giant giant monster that appears in Fiend Hunter, a new PVE content introduced to the previous developer notes. The school of despair creeps in, the darkness devourer. I messed up the test. I had a fight with my friend. My mom hates me. What am I living for? A bizarre monster born from the worries, despair, and dark thoughts of teenagers. It was thought it was not originally a monster capable of harming humans, but due to the influence of the magical power storm, it was reborn into a gigantic, horrifying form. No matter how many times it's defeated, it revives by sucking out the student's dark emotions with its huge mouth. There is no way to fight against it other than constantly defeating it and trying to and uh, tying it underground until the magic storm stops. Ooh, ooh, yo, mm -mm. this is the stuff of nightmares right here. This is the this is the shit that I see in my dreams. This is this is my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> like, ugh, that's gross. Ooh, we little summoning circle below it too. Oh wow, interesting. I can't wait to try. I can't wait to try that out. Next, we've got the ability to continue battle after defeat. The normal difficulty level of story pack is designed to be cleared by everyone. However, it was confirmed that many users are still unable to clear the normal difficulty level of story pack eight. So that more people can clear the battle and enjoy the entire story, we're planning to add a continue function that maintains the enemy's HP and resets your character's HP, resurrects with 100% HP after battle. Um, continuing battle consumes more gold than traditional retrying, and as the number of continuing in one battle increases, gold consumption also increases. Additionally, the costume function only applies uh, I'm sorry, additionally, the continue function only applies to story pack normal difficulty only. We would like, we would appreciate if you would, 
you can enjoy stories that were previously difficult to proceed through this new continue function. Um, that's a good, you know, good change. Nice little quality of life, I guess. A lot of games offer that, you know. Um, honestly, it's a good thing that it's going to consume gold. Because most systems like that, that's consuming your currency. That's your gems going. So the fact that they're doing it for gold, that's even better. Love that. Um, that way you don't have to run the risk of, you know, if you can't beat something, but you're just on the cusp of it and you need that one extra continue, you know, that's great. Love to see that. And the good thing is too, for the, the way Brown Dust works for the fights and everything, it's not mission based in the sense of like, no characters don't die or, you know, use X skill to defeat a monster or don't use skills to defeat a monster. It's not objective based for each stage or each fight. That's the good thing. So they could really get away with this by just making it a gold um, consumption versus a gem. Next, we're getting a costume balance adjustment. Looks like we'll be adjusting the balance of some costumes that are judged to be lower, to have lower abilities and usability compared to other costumes of the same star rank. Um, oh, okay, here we go. So this is all the changes they're making for Eustia's Blood Glutton. I don't even have that costume, so I wouldn't be able to tell anybody what, <laughs> what, how good or good she wasn't. Um, but yeah, there's all the changes for her, and it looks like Elise, lady, her lovely lady costume. Um, here's all the changes for those. I just recently finally got Elise, actually. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've never used her, but yeah, that's all the changes for that. We're not going to go over that. Well, that's all for today. While reviewing the opinions given in this Brown Dust 2 service satisfaction survey, I realized that while there are users who are dissatisfied with the game's policies and direction, there are also a lot of people who, are, who lo love and provide support. Of course, it's important to make an effort to listen to the voices of all users, but it was an opportunity to remind ourselves that any direction for improvement should not lead to giving up the game's identity. Love that. That's such. That's so good. Um, to ensure that the many users' expectations are met, we will make more efforts to show you the fun of adventure RPGs that are difficult to find in other mobile games. Development team members are gathering and holding various meetings regarding future development directions related to the above information. Um, we'll talk to you, we'll talk we will talk about the specific developing details uh, in more detail next time. The next news will be delivered in a slightly different way to mark the upcoming 100 day of Brown Dish 2 service. Through a special 100 day live broadcast, we would like to communicate directly with users through the faces and voices of our development team. Yo, that's really cool. So we're getting a live stream. That's really nice to see. I love it when, when developers can do that. I love when we get an extra bit of communication like that, when we get previews to different things or whatever, like having like a, like a month, maybe like a monthly live stream for new updates or however often I like that. That's I'm, I'm I'm a really good fan of that kind of communication. It gets more people involved in the community to, to like really access them, you know, and just communicate about the game. Um, in the special broadcast, original artist Origami, not saying that name, probably gonna butcher it, story writer, same, and business do <laughs> and business department manager uh, Jung Ho Kim will appear. We will provide rich contents, including a Q&A to service satisfaction survey, the details of the 100-day update scheduled for September 20th, um, the 100 day celebration event and 20, 2023 roadmap. Yo, okay, cool. If we're getting a roadmap, I'm really excited for that. That's really exciting for sure. But that's really cool to see, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to that we're getting the broadcast here. That's some really, really exciting news. Um, I think also the addition for the, um, the golden thread shop with the costumes coming there, more ways to get costumes. That's great. Um, we got the confirmation of the new costumes for Leatrice, Angelica, and the confirmation of getting the banner for Homunculus Lathal. Love that too. Um, but yeah, no, this is really good. This is really, it's really short, I think, in comparison to others, but um, we got a good chunk of information. We know what's coming and we know that we're still getting the same um, updates and the same pieces of content that we were talked about in the last developer letter, developer number nine. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to see what happens. Um, a lot of good news here for sure. Not really any misses here in my opinion, except for maybe the steel system. I want to see what that gold intake looks like. But other than that, this is great. But that's going to be it for me, guys. I will talk to you guys on the next video and hopefully be feeling a lot better on being on the camera. But in the meantime, have a good weekend. Stay safe. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.